Hi, welcome to Targeted AI Solutions. I just want to take you through the application just to make sure that you can get yourself started off as fast as possible. Now, everything's fairly straightforward and simple. It should be fairly self-explanatory, but I'll cover off everything anyway. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is log in. Once you've logged in, you can access your experts on the button below. And this will take you to your core 12 digital services delivery experts. Okay, like Ben Richardson, Accessibility Manager, and we've got a Google Business Profile, Expert, Citation Manager, etc. And you'll find 12 of these fully functional expert AI people. Now, to get the full functionality of these, you will need to set up an API key. Now, to do this, we're going to go to User Settings, go from the green key, and now my experts should be fully working for me. If I go to uh, this one, Amber Jackson, the Reputation Manager, click on there, it will open up my AI expert panel. Over here, it tells you my name is Amber Jackson, dedicated to Reputation Management and what she actually does. On the left-hand side, you will see some common questions that are already in place for you. Uh, who are you? What exactly is reputation management? Then there's a sales and marketing section with a load of questions and prompts on. Uh, you've got a technical delivery section, which will have some pre-made questions. These are all just to get you started. And there's checklists where you can actually just click any of these, the reputation manager strategy and planning checklist, for instance. And it, every time you click anything in this side, it will come up in this talk with Amber. And now you can ask the question, and it will go off and ask a question for you. In this case, we're looking for a detailed checklist on reputation management strategy and planning. And there we are. So down here, let's produce a checklist, define goals and objectives, blah, 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 etc. So you've got a nice checklist there for that. Anything that you create in here, we can save into the history. So if we add that to history, sure, we can add it to history, we can. And now we look in the right hand side, we'll see we have panels with everything that we've done here in here. So now we can either print this off, we can use this as content, or you can copy from here back into here to ask further questions. Included in here as well is training tools, certification and deliverables. Now these are generated by uh, Amber in this particular case. So if we go to training, you'll find a page that gives you a whole training guide specifically for reputation management. There's a why reputation, key deliverables, key platform, how reputation management improves your local businesses. And then there's a number of videos. Uh, best practice reputation management, social media listening. I mean, depending on which expert tells you what, these will vary. But basically, you'll get a full training explanation for that. You also get tools, which gives you the software and whatever other online and offline tools that are generally used and how to use them for that particular service. And again, we'll have certification, which shows you the certification path, if there is one for that particular service as well. Again, video guides and in fact, uh, certification courses, etc. on here. And if I return to the expert again, uh, deliverables, then it'll give you some specific deliverables for that service on how you can help you deliver that service if you're if that's something that you want to do so selling accessibility services to local businesses in this case six steps to sell review management services etc so there's videos and various training uh, some solutions down here so basic reputation management strategy um, manage multiple client review plugins from a central panel so this is part of the power online reviews plugin that they use for reputation management uh, and the video how to use it, etc. So all that will be available to you from your local expert. And of course, each one will be different, of course. And basically, you can type anything you like into this talk with uh, whoever your expert is, ask the questions. You can also, whatever you click on here, so how can I sell services to local businesses? And you can ask the question, or you can copy the question to the clipboard for instance, and go off wherever you want. But also you can go to some external, if you've got accounts uh, with these Claude, Bard, UAI, uh, you can go to ChatGDP and Bing. And of course you can take these questions outside of here and, and 
if you want to uh, operate them on the outside of the actual app. Similarly, if you ask that question, uh, you can do the same down the bottom here. You can clipboard, you can Bing chat, GBT chat, etc., and take the response outside as well if that's what you want to do. There's also a GPT kit checker, which if you're looking to create content from here, then this will actually go out. Uh, if I go to the kit checker, tells you what it's copied. This is the actual result of that. I can OK that. If you log into that account, you'll need to log in. The account's free, but you need to log into that one. And submit it. And it tells and it analyzes on whether it believes this is obviously human or AI generated. Now, obviously, it is AI generated, so you're likely to get some there. But it gives you an idea if you're using this as original content, etc., and you want to make it look as human as possible, then it, it is a test that you can use. So let's just go back in there again. We can add that to the history if we wanted to. And again, we have a history here, and we can add as many as we like. And each time we add something to the history, you'll get a new open close button on there, and you can keep a history, and then you can download or clear that history as you wish. Also, you can use uh, the ChatGPT 3.5, which is it uses the latest version of that. You can use ChatGTP 4. Generally, ChatGTP 3.5 is all you will need. It is clever enough and bright enough to give you all the solutions that you want. You can. Uh, ChatGTP4 costs a bit more in API credits, as it says here. Uh, so this is the most efficient one to use, the GBT 3.5. But if you decide you want anything more or try something different, then that's available for you. OK, that kind of covers each of the basic elements in there. So if I go back to my experts again now, you'll see that we've got go to your personal experts and go to your expert libraries. Those buttons will be there, but you'll only be able to access those if you've purchased those options. And I'll cover those in a separate video.